In today's video, I am making these super festive, romantic even, stunning set of balls, if I may say so myself. And so let's jump right in. So it all starts with these molds, which are from Timor, and I am currently obsessed with them. I just love the shape. I love how deep they are. Yeah, totally and utterly obsessed. They seem good quality too, so I'm not sure how they will wear, but I do think they should be fine. So let's get started. So my idea for these balls is to use some festive potpourri. Essentially, they are fragranced dry flower bits and there's a few wooden bits as well in there. I don't think I'm going to be using those because quite frankly, they won't fit into the walls of the mold. But essentially what I want to do is grab some of these shades of red and put these along the walls or along the side of these molds. And it does take me a while to do this, so I will speed this bit up for you, but that is basically what I'm doing. Okay, so now that I'm happy with how much I've stuffed in to the corners, I think I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my resin. I'm using my J Addiction Officials Epoxy Resin, and I will link the discount code below. What I have done is added a tiny amount of gold dust to it. This gold dust is similar to glitter but it doesn't settle it's very very fine so it kind of floats on top as you can see and I just think this will give it a nice sort of festive vibe along with a bit of sparkle so I haven't added too much just a tiny amount and I'm thinking I'm going to put my resin into my vacuum pot so this is my airless bubble machine by resiners and I'm going to run it through there just to make sure I get a nice clear bubble free pour on these and here is some satisfying footage of the bubbles popping through okay so i've just torched on the bubbles that are on the surface and it looks pretty bubble free to me i don't know once i pour these in and the resin interacts with the flowers and the petals and stuff we might have a few bubbles but listen i'm you know i've done my bit i've done what i could so hopefully there won't be too many and if there are some i'm not too fussed so what I'm doing is just going around and putting down a thin layer along where I have put the flowers in and I'm not putting too much because at this point I don't want all of this to come up and start to float. So this layer is just to sort of have the bits that I've put in to stay in place and not float up when I fill these up. So it's been a couple of hours and my first layer um, should be tacky and I can go in and fill these up top. So once again, I've mixed up my resin and this time I'm not adding any sparkle because I want to color it. And what I'm going to do is sprinkle a tiny amount onto the mold and then I'm going to be putting down some alcohol inks. And the reason I'm sprinkling some resin on top of the mold first is sometimes I find that when you put tints and alcohol inks directly onto a silicon mold, it has a tendency to stain the mold and I mean it's not a big deal but I just like to avoid that so I like to put in a tiny amount of resin first before I put in my alcohol and I will link these alcohol inks in the description they're just some random ones from Amazon I believe and I've just taken two sh shades of red one is a ruby red and one is a darker one and I'm just dotting it around and then I'm gonna go over and pour some resin on and have it sort of flow and do its own thing. I find this so incredibly satisfying to do and I'm gonna keep doing this until I'm happy with the amount of sort of color on there. Okay, so this is what they're looking like at the moment. Bear in mind, some of it will still pull together from the outside to the inside because that's just what resin does in silicone molds right it's the next day and we are ready to unmold these i am so excited like i said as soon as i saw these molds i was obsessed with the shape so i'm quite keen to see how these have turned out also i want to remind you to like comment and sub really helps me out helps my channel grow and i can keep bringing you more videos like this so i have the little one out and this is what it looks like love it i hope you can see some of that sparkle from the gold dust that we added it looks pretty clear to me i don't see any bubbles i mean i might have to really go looking for them um so i don't really see them which is what i love 
and now moving on to the next one once again so 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 happy with what this is looking like now because i didn't pull all the way to the top of this i do have a bit of a lip i'm going to use my deburring tool and take care of that on both of these and now i'm ready to show you finally what they look like so this is what they look like love 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 like obsessed let me know in the comments should have i turned these into a cake stand or should i leave this as a set of balls but so happy with how these turned out i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one